We're on to the seventh string now. This is tuned the same with the open C there, but with a drop G. So basically it's all fifths except for the high E string. G, C, G, C, G, C, E. Hooray! Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of the song Wrong Side off the new strapping record, The New Black. Ironically enough, a new black guitar. <laughs> Uh, Mesa Boogie, best amp in the world, in my opinion, and a humble one at that. Uh, I'm using two together here. Uh, dual rectifier for the low end kind of chunky chunk chunk metal stuff, and a stiletto for more filling in the mid range. Um, I've got the dual rectifier with EL34 tubes in it, and both of these heads are running through a Maxon OD808 distortion pedal. Little green bastard that. Uh, tightens it up and compresses it in a way that uh, I personally think is really cool. Okay, so here's the other part of the equation. Um, I've got a big kind of 80s hair metal rack that I roll as well because I'm not one for subtlety. And uh, what I basically do is I go into the rack, I split my guitar signal into three separate paths. One of them goes to the dual rectifier, the other one goes to the stiletto, and this third one goes to this GP100 which runs through uh, this uh, stereo graphic equalizer and then into this stereo power amp. And the effects go to two separate cabinets so it doesn't interfere with the dry sound of the heads. The rest of the rack consists of a Furman power module which is basically a glorified power bar and that has a tuner consistently running to it. The JD7 splitter box which if I didn't mention before is great because it has a ground lift and a phase reverse on each one of the channels so it can avoid the nasty kind of noises that generally comes from splitting your signal up. For my more subtle effects I've got this uh, TC Electronics G-Force which is more of the reverbs and subtle echoes and choruses and all that sort of schmutz. And the last thing I got running is this GCX which is like a version of like the Bob Bradshaw switching system and uh, it has a foot pedal that goes along with it and uh, that allows me to sort of change channels on all the heads and all the amps and do everything with one button as opposed to having to tap dance through a lot of pedals. I only have two pedals that I use. Uh, it keeps it simple. You've got the switching board obviously but in terms of pedals, uh, the Morley Bad Horsey Wah. I like this Wah because it's got a good frequency range that it uh, incorporates and it's an optical one so when you hit it it uh, turns off and on without actually having to switch a button. And then a tuner pedal that I use for more immediate stage tuning and muting my whole rig. And it's made by Planet Waves as well. And this is a new product of theirs and it's really cool. The company that I use for picks is called Intune Guitar Picks. The guy's name is Bert. He's really cool. Uh, I use these big pizza slices here. Big triangular picks. You can see this. Got the white one and the black one. Oh yeah. The begin. Oh yeah. And they're fairly heavy. I think they're about 72.72 millimeters. About the same as the green Dunlops. But I like these big triangles because they last a long time and you can hold it like you're uh, sawing away at your guitar with a, a big old chunk of wood as opposed to a subtle little pick. Again, subtlety is not my strong suit, so bigger the better. I certainly do not profess to be the greatest guitar player in the world, God knows. Uh, I think uh, as a musician, you should practice your technique uh, to be as good as you need to be to facilitate whatever ideas come into your head. Uh, that being said though, I have to admit I probably didn't get laid very much in high school because I was obsessed with playing fast. So I'm going to do a little shred section for you here and uh, for those of you who are better at this than I am, Suck it.
Okay, that sort of concludes this demonstration of what makes the guitar part of Heavy Devi Land tick. So I'd like to thank you very much for paying such close, rapt attention as I'm sure you did. And uh, until next time, this bald old bastard would like to thank Diderio, Planet Waves, Mesa Boogie, ESP, In Tune, as well as anybody else who happens to give me stuff. <laughs> I'm a whore. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You know